So now I'm continuing with question 7C, November 2018. Let's go to the instructions. The instruction says retrieve the document, question 7B, create a column graph to compare normal tariff per hour with overtime tariff per hour for each employee. So it's normal tariff per hour for normal, overtime tariff per hour for each employee. So let's go back. So I need to highlight the names because they say they want the employees. Keep your finger in control. The tariff per hour, the normal tariff per hour, I'm going to highlight. Make sure it is equally highlighted. Your finger still in control. And I'm going to highlight the overtime tariff per hour. Can you see it's all in the same range? I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to click on charts. And they are saying it should be a column chart. So I'm going to do all charts, column charts. I'm going to use the first one, a cluster column. I'm going to click on OK. So this is my chart over here. If I read the last instruction, instruction seven, instruction seven, it says print the graph as a new sheet. So the key is new sheet. So I'm going to move chart this design and format under design move chart to a new sheet and I'm going to click on OK. So it moves to a new sheet now and now they are saying examination number as chart title so I'm going to click on the chart title I'm going to click inside over there so it's examination number which is your ID number eh? your ID number examination number I press enter it will be it's all in capital letters tariff per hour enter and it's question 7c so that's my title display the number four display the amounts on the chart so I'll go to add chart elements still under design add chart elements data labels and we look for the best fit because they're only saying display the amounts on the chart so if I look inside end you can see it is there inside base outside end I'm going to choose outside end over here because it's clear if you do print it out it is visible display the legend on the right hand side currently my legends in the bottom so I'm gonna go to legend and right hand side and that's my legend save the graph as question 7a and print so I'm going to click on file and print okay that is question 7c thank you